Greetings folks and welcome to the Pit of Doom. I'm Rob and today I'm going to be looking at one of my favourite slash movies of all time. Oh, lost it there, right now. Right? There we go. Bring it up, yep. Hell Knight. Now, I do love this film. In fact, I love this film so much. I have not one. Hmm. All right, there we go. Not two. But three different Blu-ray releases of it. The French, the American, and the British. And... I love this film. It is a brilliant slasher movie from the early 80s. Now, the plot, it's fairly standard for a slasher movie, if we're going to be honest. A bunch of students who are pledging have to go on their initiation right for the Alpha Sigma Rho fraternity to Garth Manor 12 years to the day after the owner of Garth Manor murdered his entire family. Although, as we are told, not all the bodies were found. Obviously, the pledges are locked in, and the fraternity have rigged the place up to prank them, to try and scare them into leaving and failing the fraternity um, initiation. Now, something is going on, because one by one, first the fraternity prankers, and then the pledges start to be murdered and it becomes increasingly obvious that they may not be alone inside Garth Manor. Now, this is a fairly straightforward setup for a horror film. It's, it's a slasher film, but it's taking the sort of the, the old dark house style and adapting it for the slasher audience. Now, this film is notable for a couple of things. One is the unique twist shortly before the end where we find out that, spoiler alert, there's not one but two killers on the loose, a pair of deranged, deformed brothers of the Garth family. And it's also notable for the fact that it stars the lovely Linda Blair, who was forging a bit of a career as a screen queen at the time as she grew up out of The Exorcist and became more of a young woman. And Peter Barton, best known for appearing in Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter, which obviously was not the final chapter. Now, I'm not going to lie, the acting isn't the best in this film, you know, it's a bit shoddy. Vincent Van Patten, who is the son of Dick Van Patten, puts in a credible performance as a stoner surf slacker but it's just yeah but it's a slasher movie that's that's what you get with slasher movies the acting is never that good and that's fine it doesn't need to be that good it's a slasher movie you're here for the scares and the effects and there are some really well done sequences you know there's an incredibly famous moment where um, Linda Blair and Peter Barton are barricaded into a bedroom, they think they're safe, and in the background of the shot while they're talking, you just see a rug start to rise up from the floor, silently, as one of the killers uses one of the house's many, many, many secret passages to sneak into the room to try and attack them. Now, this film was not the huge hit that, say, Friday the 13th or Halloween was, but it was sufficiently successful to be well remembered and like I said it's gained not one not two but three blu-ray releases that I've gotten hold of now in terms of what's contained on these releases it's all much of a muchness in terms of the extras if I'm being honest looking at them obviously the difference is this one the French release has slightly fewer bits and pieces on, and obviously French, but you know, the film is in English with subtitles. But the US release from Screen Factory and the UK release, which came out from 101 Films, are basically identical. And it's a great, fun slasher movie. Yes, it's not a Friday the 13th, but that plays with its advantages. It doesn't really try to be a Friday the 13th. It is its own thing. Now, I would heartily recommend watching this film. It's got some really fun 
scare sequences, some pretty darn good special effects. You know, it's it's got Linda Blair in it, and let's be honest, Linda Blair. In the early 80s, she was hot. I'm not gonna deny it, she was. And this is <laughs> kinda sounds weird. This is this is a bit of a rare one in that she keeps her clothes on, which for a scream queen at the time, you know, her contemporaries such as Linnea Quigley, Michelle Bauer, um, Brink Stevens, Kelly Marone, often ended up at the very least topless in a slash film. And it was it was pretty much standard for at least one of the female actors in a slash movie to end up topless. There's none of that in this. It's a fairly clean film in that way. Indeed, the UK release is rated 15, which, you know, says a lot for a slasher movie because even the week of Friday the 13th, which have been heavily edited, still often get 18 ratings. Now, as I said, I love this film. I would give Hell Night 8 out of 10. It's a brilliant, fun way to spend an evening watching a slasher movie, and I heartily recommend it to anyone who wants to be scared but doesn't want to have to deal with Jason or Freddy or Michael Myers and wants something a little bit different. And that's it. I've been Rob, this has been The Pit of Doom, and I hope to see you on my next video where hopefully I'll be discussing another slasher classic that maybe people haven't seen. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just talk about the Friday the 13th films or the Return of the Living Dead movies. Who knows? You'll have to watch the video to find out. Bye now.